Kairo, en cool grej här. Nintendo ja. Playstation. Ja. Din engelska är ju tipptopp, det vet ju alla. <laughs> så vi gör ett snabbt försök här. Vi får, får kolla lite här. Vi kan ju börja med att kolla på det. Vad det är för någonting? Det här är alltså den enda, om jag förstått, den enda existerande prototypen på just Sony. Det står ju Sony Playstation på dem, men det är ju en Nintendo som jag har på bollingen. Ja. Så, 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 så. Ett samarbete mellan Sony och Nintendo som inte blev av. Ja, men som hade kunnat bli alltså en CD-baserad Super Nintendo. Precis. Och eftersom att ägaren till maskinen sitter här så kan ja. vi lika gärna säga hej till han. Ja, vi fastar så. Hi! Hello there! Oh, you're back! <laughs> How you doing guys? Go up to the hero. Yeah. I'm gonna stand up here. Is well. it okay if you talk to you a little bit? You can talk, do I have yeah. to answer? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we know what we're looking at, but our viewers might not know what we're looking at. Could you explain to them what are... What, what, what is this? Well, they call it a Nintendo PlayStation prototype. Me anymore, I call it, you know, the original PlayStation Zero. Ah. Yeah, I mean, because basically it's the first PlayStation ever made, when you think about it. You know? So it's pretty wild. Yeah. But uh, I, I see you got Super Famicom cards here playing. Right. Can you play PlayStation games on it? No. No. Uh, it, it'll play Super Nintendo. You gotta pop this off, so it, it's not region All right. Or if you get a converter. Yeah. But, you know, if I, at that point, I get a converter, and then I gotta get Super Nintendo games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you can see, my collection's grown pretty good since then. Yeah? We started out with two. This one and this one from Hong Kong. My buddy runs that tro, uh, retro dot HK. And then, as you can see, it just exponentially grows. I mean, we just got this one this morning. Yeah, me, me and Dave. Oh, okay, yeah, that, that, that's his signature and my signature yeah. is over there. Oh, don't worry, I'll be posting that. I asked um, Dan to get everybody's uh, names that's yeah. on that card because uh, the list is that long. You guys <laughs> yeah. can see the back of the card. As you can see, the back of the card's got names on it. Yeah. Side. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to take me a while to punch all that in. Yeah. In between sips of beer, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> So how, how do you get a hold of something like this? I accidentally bought it in an auction when my company went bankrupt. Didn't know what I had for six years, and then my son's on Reddit one day, and they're talking about back in the day when Sony and Nintendo yeah, were yeah. supposed to be buddies and create this thing. You know, they took off from there. Huh. And, and what year was this? That my son posted it? Ah, that you bought it. Uh, 2009. Oh, so it's, it's pretty recent. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you answered, like, 1998 or something like that, that would have been a relevant answer. But 2009, just from nowhere, it's yeah, that it's kind of cool. It's, this is actually owned by Olaf Olsson, who was the president of Sony back in the day. Mm -hmm. So apparently when, uh, you know, they, uh, he was there in 1990. So yeah. apparently when they did have the falling out with the Nintendo, he just decided to take one home with them. Oh. They were supposed <laughs> to destroy them all. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, but when you're the president, you don't argue. Yeah, you gotta keep one. Yeah, because you can't say, because this is proprietary. It says PlayStation Sony on it. It should have stayed somewhere in the vault where it should have been destroyed. Yeah, like yeah. It was supposed to. So, but being the president of Sony, I don't care. You know, yeah, he, of course. He should have got his ass in trouble. <laughs> so what, what can we, what can you do with this machine that uh, Super Nintendo can't do? I see you got, you got two different uh, video outs on it. You right. got both the SCART and the, the composite. Right, and the USB. The USB as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. What can you do with the USB, you know? Uh, just another way to plug it in the play. All right, right. You know, you get the better colors, especially if you... Uh, get the uh, different TVs from back in the day. I mean, the colors pop up. Yeah, like, like a re the read RGB yeah, CRT yeah, yeah. monitor. Yeah, the CRT monitors, yeah. the colors pop up better. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, at one point in time, Ben had this fixed where it opened and close and it reads the CD disc and it would play the music. Once you put a card in, you put a music CD in, the, cart, the music from the cart stopped, you could hear the music from the CD. So you don't have to hear that same crap all day long. Yeah, yeah, because you could do that with the, with the, with the real PlayStation, right, so right. to say. Oh, so cool. it, it stopped, but you know, people are like, "Aren't you worried about?" It? I said, "No, because you know, I, I think it's just a loose wire." Yeah. And you know, I get tired actually of putting it in and out and letting people listen to music. I keep telling people, one of these days I do that, it's going to smoke. You won't be able to play games anymore. I will not be at the expos anymore, and I don't want that to happen. You know what I, mean? I want people to enjoy this thing. Yeah. So I'm not that worried that you know that part doesn't work. Like I said, it, it, it's probably easy. To easy to repair, but I'm not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it feels like the, the right thing to do, the right uh, things. Yeah, yeah, my son's uh, the same way as I am. You know, it was made to play yeah. people to see, touch, you know, so he travels with me from time to time. And every card here represents one convention. 
Mm, no, not really. I mean, there's some of them, uh, like you see this one here, here in the dog cast. I got two of them from those guys, Two, uh, one from one year, one from another. Uh, this one I got from a bunch of my friends while I was at MAGFest. That's supposed to be a character <laughs> of me. Uh, I hung out with them, a bunch of millennials, until about 5 in the morning. And then, you know, back out on the floor at 8 o'clock in the morning with the prototypes. So, 64-year-old <laughs> guy hanging out with punks that are 30 years old. Think that one up through, guys. <laughs> Wasn't yeah. this game supposed to be released, uh, Secret of Mana? Uh, supposed to be released on that console, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, I'm hoping that somebody out there who has the original send it to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that was something. actually, I, you know, any parts and pieces. I've had people say, yeah, we worked on that third party. I remember, blah blah blah. We have parts for it. I'm like, well, here's my email. Here's my home address. Here's my cell number. You know, if you want to send this stuff to me, fine, because it belongs with it. You know what I mean? It'll, and I'll, you know, it'll go wherever I go. Yeah. You know, give me parts. If they want to be known, fine. If they don't, fine too. I mean, I, I talk to people from Sony. I know some of their names. And I, you know, they sign the NDAs, and I will never give up their names. Of course, the amount of information they give me. I mean, I've already been asked not to do certain things, and it's like my mm. son's the same way. Of course. How many emails do you get? People that want to buy that thing. Uh, in the beginning, it was a lot, but when I when I start talking about you know. How much money was offered to me that that would just go by the wayside? You know, some people when it first started with this, they go, oh, 30, 60,000 US dollars. I'm like, mm. And then um, my buddy Dixon over in uh, Hong Kong, he was out uh, having friends with one, uh, dinner with one of his friends over in Hong Kong, uh, movie star guy. And he said, tell you two crazy American friends, I'll offer 200,000 American dollars. This is back in 2015 before Ben even fixed yeah. it. All right. He's like, nah, they won't sell it to you. He says, because, okay, you know, that's just the, what they're doing. So I even had one guy, I had to laugh. Um, we were at Retro City Fest in California. My buddy Dixon was there with the OGO World Tour. Yeah, that's what he's doing uh, right now. Yeah. Uh, he's in charge of that. Uh, he came up, he was shooting a ship with me. And this one guy uh, that's from a museum there in California, or no, Texas, he's been bugging me. He bugged me for a while to try to sell this to him or even like donate it. Uh, and I was like, no, nah, that ain't happening. This thing goes where I go. <laughs> well, he's standing there talking to me. My buddy Dixon comes walking up to me. And I said, no, oh, you didn't hear the latest. He goes, what's that? And I said, my, my latest offer on this list. He goes, how much? I said, a thousand, I'm not a thousand, a million. U.S. dollars over in Norway. And that guy next to me, he's like, well, I guess my offer today, I might as well not even bother. I said, well, what's that? $250,000. I was like, dude, I had that offer while I was over in Hong Kong, man. <laughs> Be gone. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, you know, I, it's up for sale, but somebody's got to come up with the right figure. Yeah, yeah everything is for sale. Yeah, because but over in my country, you know, once you make a million dollars, Uncle Sam takes 40%. Oh, okay. I split it with my partner, who's my son. It's really not a, what they call cheddar, enough money, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I could get sick once, $300,000 or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. And even with all the debts I have, you know what I mean? Like you can see, I have not for sale. So anybody wants me at their expo, they have to pay me the whole course. freight. You know I mean, I'm standing here right now, and my bills are going up and up. You know what I mean? I'm not making any money, and I'm trying to do something. You know what I mean? So yeah, if someone comes up with the right dollar figure, you know, they can have for their collection, or hopefully they do what I'm doing. Or they, you know, we thought about even cloning this thing while we're over in Hong Kong, but, you know, by the time we would have split the money with our buddy, Dixon, and me and my son, it was going to be like 51% out of pocket already. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, and we thought about it, it's like, by the time you figure all the work you're doing for what little money you're going to make, it just wasn't worth it. And, and for now, the the thing of your, your, you having the only machine in in, in the world, yeah, that's like that, 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 that's a better payoff yeah. than, than money right now. Yeah, and you know we've had people say, oh, blah blah blah, we have one in the attic. I'm like, you know, we tell those <laughs> trolls the same thing they told us: show pictures or go away. <laughs> I'm being nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Andreas. 
this here is David. Yeah, I know. Uh, he, he, he came up to me earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, and we got the YouTube channel here in Sweden. Oh, okay. Cool. The gaming grannar, the the gaming neighbors. Okay. Well, you know, so. uh, send me your information. And I'll start following you guys. And stuff. Yeah. 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 Sure. And, you know, I, I like following some of the stuff, but when you're talking in you know, Danish or whatever, you know, it's like I can't understand them. <laughs> you know, if, they, if they're speaking in English, yeah, that's fine. I'll watch, but you know, I try to watch as much as possible. And my eyes just like, hey, so yeah, yeah, I wish I knew what they were saying. I know they're talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck today. It was thanks. It was really fun to see all of this, and I'm gonna play some some on it now. Uh, knock yourself out, man. <laughs> yeah, some Super Mario stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we already showed them. <laughs> you get, get out of here! Be gone! <laughs> no! <laughs> Thank you, bye bye! Bye, Dave. Let's see, we have here a little bit när den var med i Nintendo magasinet. Ja, alltså det är med ett par olika nummer, men det här är den största, största sidan som mm. då var det mer snack om att det var en vad ska säga en addon som satt ja, exakt. under det. Cool. Den liten, de andra numren skriver de bara lite mer rykten och sånt där, det är en liten bild. Så, det är kul att ja, det är kul. Jag tycker det är kul att läsa de här gamla artiklarna. Ja, verkligen. Man kunde drömma sig bort. Man hade ändå gärna velat ha sett den där alltså. Kan du tänka dig då när du läste det här om du skulle stå här och sitta med dig och känna på den? Alltså då trodde man att det skulle komma. Ja, det var några år sedan kanske man inte hade kunnat tro att man någonsin skulle få se. Jättekort att den är i Sverige. Ja, men det är bra att den är här. Ja, det är kul.